Welcome to The Pro's Closet, I'm Spencer Paulison. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to assemble your certified pre-owned bicycle. We'll go over the basics of how to put together a road, mountain, gravel, or cyclocross bike. If you purchased a time trial bike or a road bike with an integrated stem and handlebars, you might need to seek professional help. From your local bike shop, of course. This video will cover the three basic parts of the assembly process, and that's the front wheel, the handlebars, and the pedals. I'm here in our state-of-the-art warehouse, but in fact, I don't need to use any of these tools. All I'll need is the torque wrench that comes provided with your certified pre-owned bike, as well as a couple of common Allen wrenches. So let's get started. Start by putting on your front wheel. Doing this first will make it easier to set up your handlebars later on. As you're taking the plastic protectors off your front hub, be careful not to lose one of your hub's end caps. Look at this little rascal. If you've got a disc brake bike, the next step is to remove the spacer from your brake caliper. We put this between the brake pads to prevent the front brake from coming out of adjustment while it's in transit. So once you've taken that spacer out, make sure you don't pull the front brake lever until your front wheel is installed and secured. Remove the through axle from your forks dropouts. Then carefully install your front wheel, making sure that the disc brake rotor is aligned with the gap between the brake pads on your front brake caliper. If it isn't going in smoothly and easily, stop, make sure it's aligned and it should fit right in. Put the through axle in through your fork side that doesn't have threads and it goes all the way through the hub and screws into the other side of the fork dropout. Some through axles will require a six millimeter Allen wrench to tighten. On a bike that has a quick release hub and usually rim brakes, look for the quick release in the green foil bag that's usually zip tied to the rear wheel of the bike. Take off the end nut and one of the springs, slide it through your hub, put that spring and end nut back on. Then, you might need to loosen your front brake caliper so the tire can easily fit through the brake pads. The dropouts will easily fit onto the hub and then you'll just screw down your quick release a little bit and flip the lever to tighten. Well, that was really easy. Next, we'll set up your handlebars. We just need to make sure that they're centered and that they're rotated in the correct orientation. On a mountain bike, this means you'll want your shifters pointing downward and the bars relatively flat. You don't want them curving upward or drooping downward. And a lot of times, your bike will come out of the box ready to go with the handlebars in the correct position. On a road bike, you will need to rotate your handlebar so that your shifter hoods are level with the ground. Once you're happy with your handlebars position, take the torque wrench that's supplied with your certified pre-owned bike and find the right bit for your stem's bolts and then tighten those bolts using the pattern shown in this graphic. Use this pattern to make sure the bolts are tightened evenly. And once your torque wrench clicks, you'll know that you've achieved the correct tightness for a given bolt. Lastly, install the pedals of your choice. This will probably require either a six millimeter or an eight millimeter Allen wrench. Remember that pedals tighten toward the front of the bike. That means that the left pedal will be reverse thread. If you're having trouble getting them tightened or they aren't going in smoothly, stop and make sure you've got them on the correct side and that you're tightening in the correct direction. And if you have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to contact our ride guides. They're happy to help. Thanks for purchasing your certified pre-owned bike from the Pros Closet. And remember, all certified pre-owned bikes come with a guaranteed buyback. So when you're ready for something new, we make switching bikes easy. Enjoy your ride.